Hi, welcome to my Arch Lab system. We're gonna make a tutorial about Linux Mint, and Linux Mint is ready here. We have 18.2 Sonia Cinnamon that is out, and we want to check if the Sardi and the Surfing icons are still in order. And in the meantime, use it the time to get an overview of Sonia. I have my GitHub, GitHub ready. There is one in particular that I want to download the Ultimate the Linux Mint 18.27 that I updated 28 days ago when the beta was out. So I'm wondering if there's a lot of difference between the two of them. Then we have this virtual box available to run anything, and we're gonna set it up. We're gonna name it Linux Mint 18.2. Cinnamon, 64 bits is okay, and it's indeed an Ubuntu, it's based on Ubuntu. Next, create virtual hard disk, next, allocate, and I'm gonna give it around 21, 20, it's okay. Create. Then, we're gonna load up our image, which is already here, and let's start it. Moving it to this screen. Automatic boot. Enter, enter, and it goes 8 seconds faster. There we go. Some yellow message, I could have, couldn't read it. Okay, Linux Mint. The installation of Linux Mint is admirable, it's so easy. English, this is screen one, screen two, erase and install, three, continue, my place, Belgian keyboard, names, login automatically is what I choose always, and continue. That's it. We've um, installed the system. We just have to wait how long it takes and then we can uh, take a look in the meantime do we see any applications that we say mm, those are new just by name i can already give some tips as well usb image writer and usb stick formatter is one that i have uh, ported to arch labs it's a great usb tool to burn an iso image to a usb and boot from there it has never failed me, and we're talking about 70 dif different ISO or distros of ISOs. So that's quite uh, interesting to know. Fix is a new one, meaning a new one not from this uh, version, but it's the Linux Mint version. So, and, and what else? Graphics and internet. Yes, office, everything looks normal and the same. Maybe they've uh, omitted things. I believe when I read the, the release article that they did not include some kind of program. I don't recall what it was again. So go read it. It's uh, written for you about this release. Don't see any really new applications so that's fine for people to recognize everything again and say okay everything's still the same we find our our information no more buttons the button themselves have been changed i've read a lot of information has been added easier uh, context in here i believe there was some improvement that you could change things easier okay restart now Let's go to the real thing. This was just a live ISO, so we can do a lot of it there. Press enter. Best thing is actually to get rid of the ISO in VirtualBox, but let's wait what he is doing. Okay, the ISO is out, so no problem. We're booting straight from the hard disk now. So, Cinnamon, Safa. The general hello, here I am, which we don't want to see again, and then we are off to find and to check out everything. Let's first get to the net. 
see if we can get on internet, see if we can get to our GitHub and download our scripts. So, GitHub, Eric Dubois, enter. The ultimate Linux Mint, this is still present. I really, yeah, hate is a strong word, but I don't like it because what I have to do is all the way down here to that and then do this and add Google. And now Google is inside and then change search settings and then get rid of all that. Remove, 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 remove. And now I have only Google. That's what I want to have. So that's the choice of these guys to have a different search engine. Now everything is Googleized. Okay, so Ultimate Linux Mint, I'm looking for the Ultimate Linux Mint 18.2 Cinnamon. Clone or download, just click here. Go to your home folder, make a nice folder, call it data, so you know what to back up. And then inside you are gonna open the terminal. Git will not work. No, that's too bad. I had hoped they would have installed it by now. Standard. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> so, should I get in this case? That was an arch labs command. So, the app get and our apt install faster and then git. Yes. And then git clone. And we're gonna copy paste it. Control Shift V and what's happening? This is happening, we just copy pasted everything now to a local system. And then we can make it like so. And I'm missing some stuff here. Toolbar. Okay, everything is still available, fine. Because I do want this button to be here, so I can open a terminal in that folder. And now it's up to these little things that will install my software. Let's start with Savvy Icons. There is two of them. I just want the one, not the extra one, but uh, the core uh, version. So that's that. Let's have a look. How does that look? We go to 222 Preferences, scroll down, Themes. Get it? and put it here. You always want to theme things, change icons, change that, this and that. For instance, I like it being quite dark. I'm gonna change to, I don't know, let's go all blue, savvy flexible, and then mint white dark. Uh, maybe a white one, it was already white, I think. Like so, we have a very dark uh, scheme or theme. Why do I take the blue one? Because it's very easy for me to see if any of the icons are not nice. So let's go over all the icons. And because of the earlier visit on the beta version, voila, we did not encounter any problem, but it's not finished. Let's check this one, always blue, which is great. And it's still not finished. We should check as well, but that's actually less important if there are things in there, not the trash, Eric. User, share, applications, let's maximize. So some of them are not blue because of, well, the nature of what they are, but this one is wrong and that's the only one. So that's quite okay. Let's move that to here. So these things do not have an icon, so that's why they're looking like that. I have here many more scripts available, as you can see. And the one I'm interested in is this one, the hard code fixer. Why? Let's move down these two guys. Okay. You don't see them in the menus, but I'm just explaining it as well, because if there are icons in the menu, of programs that do not change, then it's this script you have to run. Uh, you have to type hard code fixer and 
do check them out. Where are they? There they are. Python version 2 and so on. Just waiting for my password and all the time. Look what's happening here. This changes, that changes, everything changes, everything is nice again. So this hard codes uh, fixer, what does it do? Some of these engineers keep on giving us an hard coded pathway. Go to user, share, pix maps, that size. So whatever theme you have, uh, Papyrus, Numix, never mind what icon theme, it will never change. So that's fixed now. Okay, so Sardi is okay. Let's have a look to Surfen. So let's install Surfen. Let's see how it's called. It's not installed. It's probably icons. No. Icons Surfen. Version 4. We're getting the latest GitHub version. So I'm wondering what that will look like. Um, so back here in the theming on the top. Let's make it less dark. Let's go to Mint Y. To Mint Y. And to Mint Y. And let's go to Surfing. Let's take Surfing New Mix Pole. Like so. So now you see that all the icons in user share applications have changed. Since we ran the hard code screen uh, changer there, hard code uh, changer, everything looks good. This is the normal Python look. And all icons are changed. All icons here are now changed. There is none that's looking out of place. So best thing is go to all applications and slowly maneuver your way down. And I instantly recognize an icon that's not mine. And I will fix it. So this is already cleared. That's done. So what we did now is check out if we have um, Sadly and Surfing that's working nice. And then you tap uh, you press tap tap twice and this is all you can install. I suppose you don't need to install my Canon printer. Maybe 1% chance that you have it too. But for the rest you can install all these things. <coughs> Check them out. Some of them are um, interesting. Some of them you don't like. I do think we should check out these two. These are my teaming uh, sets. So let's find out if this is still looking good on the latest version. So now we've installed Arc Calora Teams. What is this? Oh, we have to go here and we have to check out the themes. So what themes do we have? All of these have been installed. Well, let's go all red, Arc Dark Crimson and Arc Dark Crimson. So everything is turning red, crimson is the word for red, and now we're working in a theme like this. And all of these icons look good, I forgot to check that out earlier on. So we have a theme, let's open Nemo, we have a theme that looks good, here's a little bit of red, and some up where, some maybe up here, oh sorry, I'm looking in my virtual box, so up here. Voila, all the red things are there, so they're working. So that's checked as well. Next thing to check is the other theme. We have a mint Y Colora collection. By the way, what is R Colora? It's a GitHub. Go to it. It's a script to change the Arc theme to any color you want for your Linux Mint. It works also on Arch Labs and Solos and so on. But this collection we're installing with this script is made for Linux Mint. So it will work here. The same applies for Mint Y Color, so based on the same author, Horse 3180, and then change the green in the Mint Y to any color you want. So installing that one as well. Okay. Back to my themes, which is here. 
if it wants to open. Yeah, from time to time, depending on what you do, um, you will have trouble opening the themes because all these themes have now been added and it's taking a while to, to be able to read all these. So it's actually a little bit crashing, but it doesn't matter. Just say force quit now. And that's only because of all these themes coming up and um, this program being open. That's the only reason. Okay, so this is a bundle of arcs. This is a well little bit arc. And here they start, the mint white dark. There's also a red one for this guy. Maybe we, should, we can compare what the difference is. A mint white is not bluish, but mint white is dark like blackish um, this one huh? so everything also this one is changed to red everything you touch and look at all the elements will have changed also here everything is changed to this mint white crimson so that looks as well a uh, success so we keep all these scripts there that's just fine oh sorry and then let's take a look what can I recommend? And I'll close the tutorial here then. I can recommend you install some extra software, core software here, extra software. Some themes and icons and cursors, but we installed already four of them. Um, I do recommend from cursor, this is the Breeze Snow White, I think the name is. Um, what else? InSync is to uh, share Google Drive. NeoFetch is to find out Let's have a look. Is anything installed? No, that's not installed. And neither is this one. So these two programs will tell you what version you're on, what um, memory you have and all that. So technical information you see from time to time. Peak is to make an animated GIF. Redshift is for your eyes in the evening. It gets a little bit uh, redder. Simple screen recorder is to record your tutorials. I'm doing that right now. Spotify is for your music. Sublime Text is a text editor. Team Viewer is to show the computer of somebody else 80 or 800 kilometers uh, on the other side of the world. Variety is a great tool. It provides us wallpapers. Vivaldi is a browser. And Arc is another theme. Atom is an editor. Brackets is an editor. Canon is my printer. Cool Chrome, you know. G radio is music and then the general GTK art theme so the blue one uh, as well is in there plank themes um, so the plank is installed in here I believe in the core software or the extra software one of those and I have about 100 themes for your plank so if you install these you can change your theme from time to time and that's it basically so have fun for me uh, everything uh, looks good so Saturday and surfing wise everything looks nice I was wondering however this icon here is still changeable because well yeah I do like this one for instance just click here and then that's done and we have a little icon here what I always do when I make tutorials is change this name because nobody knows what this is they keep asking me what, what are you filming what is this and I say okay look down there so that's it this is Linux Mint 18.2 cinnamon there you go so all the information um, you will have to look for the log or the blog of 18.2 and check it out what has changed as for me I do not uh, feel uh, awkward it doesn't feel new it, it just feels uh, equivalently back at home everything looks the same uh, settings will be probably different if once you go inside elements and check out and dig a little bit deeper you will find uh, new elements but um, as a general feel I say okay coming back home everything looks awesome enjoy